but definitely worth the time. I sold this for $195. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys. In this video, we're going to talk about my big money bolos, items that I sold on eBay for a really nice profit. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's get started here with the first item. And I have found this item on multiple occasions. It is a Herb Braymeyer Santa. Now, here's one thing to know about this. It is local to my area. So this is a local artist. But what this tells you is that even when you see local artists, artists and items, some of them can go for big money. So don't dismiss them. And I have sold this brand on multiple occasions. And this one is Herb Braymeyer. And you can see it is written right here on the bottom. You would probably look at this and think, hmm did i mean it doesn't look fancy let's just put it that way and nothing fancy about it it's uh what do you call that i think where you use heat to compress it into the bottom of the wood but there it is there's the signature you'd probably maybe walk past it this is also missing like a tree or a candle or something i'm not sure what so it is incomplete but it is one of a kind. It's got some scuffs and marks on it, but it is a sought after local artist. I sold this for a best offer of $50 incomplete with condition issues and the buyer paid shipping. And I can't remember where I got this one. I apologize. I did not write it down. The next item is this faux pearl garland wedding or Christmas tree decor. And actually somebody reached out to me and they just wanted certain pieces. And I didn't really want to split it up because then I would have had to redo the photos. So I just sold it as um, a set and they offered me 35. So I went ahead and took it. Could I have gotten more if I was patient? Could I have gotten more if I parted this out? quite possibly. And it kind of looks like jewelry, doesn't it? It's beautiful. But yeah, I sold it for $35 plus shipping. Let me know in the comments if you would have parted it out, if you think I would have got more selling this differently. I probably could have sold these individually. The next item you may have seen in another video, this is a stuffed Santa Claus, another artisan piece, folk art, hand-painted face, Got this at the Goodwill bins. I think I paid $5 for it because it was a bigger item and they worked with me on the price of that. Sold it for $62 and the buyer paid shipping. The buyer was happy with the item and they're like, I didn't think it was this big. Uh, maybe the pictures were a little bit deceiving. I did have the uh, tape measure showing how big it was. But, you know, sometimes even with a tape measure, you get the item and you're like, oh, but isn't he like, I don't know if he's creepy or cute, but uh, $62 on that one. And the buyer paid shipping. This is a Mr. Christmas Goodnight's Lights Blowout Santa. So if you blow into this hole, it will turn on the light. <laughs> turn it off and on. Is that not cool? Have you guys ever seen this before? It's a pretty cool item. I've sold it more than once. I've sold it with the box and without the box. 2011 looks like it was sold at Walmart. I sold this for $46.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item took a long time to sell. Now, I did have a couple different versions and the other versions sold quicker, but let me show you what this looks like. It's just this kind of plasticky over lights. Looks like that. Not super fancy. I got this at a thrift store in a Christmas mystery box, and I sold this for $37.19, and the buyer paid shipping. So my cost of goods was probably a buck or two. Now, this one is amazing, and I did take the time to put this together. You probably think I'm crazy. I don't normally put things together, but this wasn't too bad. It's from 2012, made in Germany, and it wasn't a lot of pieces, guys. It did take me a little bit, but definitely worth the time. I sold this for $195. And 
It is Playmobil. It's 5245 if you want to look it up. It's a Western toy set. But the fun thing about this is it also had a, uh, I think it was a WWF or WWE. Which one is wrestling? It had a wrestling uh, chair, rocking chair in it <laughs> that somebody had just thrown in there. And that was a bolo also that you saw in a past video. I got this at a thrift store for $10. So the rocking chair pretty much paid for this plus some. And then I made $195 on this. Minus fees, of course. Buyer paid shipping on that. These are the Hallmark Interactive Story Buddy Jingles Huskies Stuffed Plush Dogs. Sold these for $37.20. And I got these at a garage sale for $0.50 cents each. So all in for a dollar. And the buyer paid shipping on that. This is a Harrods Nightbridge Royal Palace Queen's Guard Teddy Bear. And I got this from Hall Sale. And Hall Sale is no longer in, um, what do you call it? The site no longer exists, unfortunately. I thought it was an awesome, amazing idea. Uh, people would sell their things wholesale to other buyers, but it just did not work out. And the site is no longer around, but when it was, I purchased this and it was a plush lot. So my cost of goods, I think was around $3 for this, if I remember correctly. And I sold this for $40 plus shipping. This was a uh, lot that I believe I got, I think the Rebel reseller was selling it on wholesale. If it is, I have a video about it. Everything I got in that lot. I'm almost positive this was from that. And sold this for $40 plus shipping. If you're not following the Rebel reseller, definitely check her out. She is absolutely incredible. Her and her husband have a YouTube channel. They specialize in plush, but also sell other items. They're what sold videos you are definitely going to learn. So check out the Rebel reseller. This is a vintage miniature ceramic Christmas tree. It's only seven inches. Look how cute it is. It's a little guy. Have you guys ever sold a little one? And it was missing a light. Sold this for $48 plus shipping. This came out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box. So cost of goods was probably less than $5. Now this one is absolutely amazing. I was hoping to get more for it. I think I could have if I would have been more patient. But I'm not patient all the time. Somebody offered me $150 and I'm like, I'm going to take it. It is a Weiss Rhinestone 11 row bracelet. There's one rhinestone, and I think it's right there, that had a little bit of yellowing. Other than that, this thing was immaculate. Beautiful. Right there is your signature. $150 on this, and the buyer paid shipping. And I just think this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And the next item, I've talked about this one before in a video, and it is Cynthia Chung, and it is Jewelry 10. This is a piece that probably gets missed a lot. It's porcelain, J10. It will usually have jewelry 10 spelled out, but this is a smaller brooch. Look at the glue residue. Doesn't look fancy, right? I sold this for $71.30. Do a deep dive research on jewelry 10 and be on the lookout for this artisan made piece. The next item is this J. Crew double strand draft necklace. Now, this one I put on eBay because I wanted to see if I could still sell it for big money with the condition issues. This is a J. Crew piece. If you don't know, J. Crew does pretty well. But do you see this on the beads? Imperfections on the beads. Look at this scuffs, marks. You can see them right here, right here, right here, right here. Lots of issues on the coating. And I still sold this piece for $61 plus shipping. So a lot of times if there's defects, I'm like, I just want to see if I can still sell it for big money. And I did. I think $61 is great. Now, if it did not have these issues, I probably could have sold it for more. But what a cool piece, right? J. Crew. Be on the lookout. This is a Tobin stamped tablecloth for embroidery. It's oblong prairie rose. 
I sold this for a best offer of $100 plus shipping. I got it at a garage sale for $2. Originally $27.35. These do go, uh, they retired and they're hard to find and you can ask more money for them. Don't be afraid to ask more money. You may be have to be patient. It may be more long tail, but big money. Tablecloth embroidery right there. These took forever to sell. And when I found these, I'm like, bolo, bolo, bolo. I'm going to sell these for crazy money. These have been listed since 2021. I paid $4.50 for them. They are these ginormous candles. They're 24 inches long. They are joined at the top. Wow. Uh, I ended up taking a best offer of 70. So definitely worth the wait. Still in the original box. And I have another set available, but very, very cool item, but took a long time to sell. So the next item is this vintage arrow tabletop wood Christmas tree from 1974. And you actually, I think, make all these ornaments and put them on. Yeah, it's like a craft. This sold after Christmas. This sold after Christmas. I don't know if I'd consider that a Christmas item or not. Wasn't there another Christmas item? Let's see. Let's go back. Sold before Christmas. Those are also kind of a Christmas item. Sold before Christmas. Sold before Christmas. Okay, so it was just... Um, this one right here. And this one sold after Christmas as well. And I sold this guy for $75. I picked it up at a thrift store for $6.99 plus shipping. I love fiber optics. Always pick them up. It was tested and working as you can see. Look at me. You can see me in the my reflection. That's funny. And it did have some condition issues. The buyer did message me when they got it and said that it was not working. I think it just needed a light bulb. So I don't know if it got like jostled around during shipment or if the light bulb just burnt out. Uh, but anyway, $75 plus shipping on that one. All right, you guys, those are some of my big money bolos that I sold on eBay. Let me know down in the comments which one was the most unexpected. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.